Welcome to Shiftology Live, everybody. It's been a while, and I'm so excited to be back. Yes, it's been a while. You know, hey, I've been in the background rocking and shaking and doing all kinds of great things to help my entrepreneurs be the best that they can possibly be. And today's first Shiftology Live is with a rock star Limitless Prosperity Facebook group member, Jeff. And Jeff, I'm going to ask you to please tell us a little bit about yourself. Why, thank you. I, I am so happy to be here with you today, Terry. So thank you so much thank for having you. me on. I really appreciate it. And really, who I am is a divine space. I'm anchored mm -hmm. by my in-breath, and I'm solidified by all of other sparks of the divine. So that's who I am at my core. Okay. Now, I'm going to ask you to say that again a little slower, because that was pretty potent. So who I am is a divine space. I'm anchored by my in-breath and solidified by all other sparks of the divine. That's pretty cool. That's so, pretty cool. And how did you come up with that explanation of who it is that you are? Well, you know, it's funny. I was watching Masterclass from Oprah with uh, Curtis Miller, a.k.a. 50 Cent, right? Yes. Uh-huh. And this is years and years and years and years ago. And what he said was that I am at my core... I am my grandmother's grandson. And when I remember that, everything is okay. And I don't get shot. When I don't, not so much. Okay. My grandmother was crazy. I That is not a good... I, I, I love her dearly. She's one of, you know, God rest her soul. But she sunk boats. She, uh, like, caught the farm on fire. I mean, like, literally, she was crazy. Okay. So, so that's not necessarily a good thing for me to remember that I'm my grandmother's grandson. It's normally we talk about that in the negative side. I am my grandmother's grandson. I'm going to go come kill you. Right. <laughs> so, and we all use that as I am my, I am, you know, um, when we're in our place of power. So yes. she was a very powerful woman. Okay. You know? And yes, she, and she could take it to the extreme. So when we're in our power, we talk about that, but, in my general every day, that's not necessarily a good thing because she was a very um, rageful woman. Mm. And that's not something that I want to model. And so I was thinking, so who am I in my core? And I worked on that for a while. Very and it's nice. one of the things that I actually talk about in my program. Like, who are you at your core? Like, let's take it out. I I'm a man, of course. I'm a guy. Uh, but that's just something that this body is, right? Mm -hmm. And what does that look like? So when you strip away everything else, strip away any label that you can give yourself, who are you? Yeah. That, and that's a big question. A lot of us sometimes are challenged with that question. So mm -hmm. I'm curious, knowing that you know who you are, what do you see as your divine purpose and your gifts? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. My divine purpose really is to help others, you know, live in in freedom and uh, impact and creativity, you know, being authentic to themselves. Mm -hmm. And what my real gifts are is helping people really hone in on what that is and creating systems around that so that they can actually succeed. So a lot of people struggle mm -hmm. and I don't like, uh, there's no reason to struggle. There's a lot of tech that helps you. A lot mm -hmm. of people are, when you talk about people that are coaches and creatives that I like to work with, you know, you want, they see that this, you know, as soon as they hear tech, it's like, Oh, I can't do this. You know, talk to them about accounting, you know, yeah. it, it's crazy. So I have, I have created ways so that it actually feeds your creativity and feeds your freedom and doesn't allow you to get bogged down in all of it. Yeah, and I'm a tech nut. I love technology. Uh, everything that I do has a foundation of technology in it. So I appreciate what it is you're, you're talking about because I find that I'm sometimes my most creative when I'm, um, you know, it really is about connecting both sides of the brain, the very yeah. practical side, that A plus B plus C equals D, and then the, um, the creative side of, wow, how can I make this image look even better? You know, that, that right. kind of thing. So I truly, truly get it. So this show is about Shiftology Live. Okay. 
shift. How did you, what did you have to shift to get to where you are now? All right. So currently I live in a, I live in a 25 foot um, RV, a motor home. So with my two puppies and what I had to shift was my whole thought process on, on what is valuable. What mm -hmm. is, you know, what is it that I want to live, how I want to live? Um, actually, mm -hmm. what is life? Because before I would get stuck in, and still, even today, I could get really stuck in work, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I could go in, work 12, 14 hours, sit at a computer, you know, not do anything. And what this does is it allows me to, it forces me actually to go out and explore, look mm -hmm. at new places, new things, um, take the dogs for a walk. Yeah. Like, really. Because sometimes even that is a challenge for me, just getting up and going. It's been beautiful here. I'm in Tennessee right now, and it's been beautiful. It's been in the 70s, this late late 60s, early 70s, like really great. Um, there's I'm right at Tennessee Tech. There's a great campus to walk through. You know, nice. there's beautiful things. There's uh, two different state parks within 15 minutes of here. So with waterfalls there's a really cool dog park. Yeah, you this know. shift was a good thing for you shifting into living in the motorhome. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Just living, uh, making sure that I'm actually living and not just working and revolving okay. my, my work around my, making my work support my life, not be my life. Make your work support your life, not be your life. A lot of us have to hear that because a lot of burnout uh, is because of overwork, overwhelm, and we forget to live life. Everything mm -hmm. is about integrating the spiritual, the personal, and the practical. And when we forget about the spiritual and the personal and only focus on the on the practical, we get ourselves into trouble and we're not living life. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was truly something that I had to learn. It's something that mm -hmm. I have to practice. It's something that I have to remind myself of. You know, I just recently got licensed as a, uh, a minister for the Jedi uh, with the Temple of the Jedi. I love that. <laughs> um, and really, it took me six years. It should have taken me, really, it, it, it should have only taken me about a year and a half with the coursework that I had to do. But because I kept putting it off and I kept putting it off and mm -hmm. there, there was something more important than what my, what my true expression is. And that was, and that was something I had to learn and I had to put it into practice and really get okay. to be, you know, nice. Well, at least you got it. And you understand that first of all, there are never any should have, would have, could have, everything lands at just the right True. time. Of course. <laughs> you, know, you know, and I'm, I'm curious, our Facebook group is called limitless prosperity. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? Limitless prosperity, you know, remember for me, it's remembering that prosperity doesn't have everything to do with money. You know, mm -hmm. the most of us, most of us, our needs are met. If you're watching this, I can almost guarantee your needs are met, right? Now, our wants may not be, but our needs are. And that's where the prosperity is. Noticing the people around you, noticing the sun is shining, noticing that there is a, a whole, you know, what we call the force or energy or whatever you want to call it, the mm -hmm. source is around you and is supporting you and is sending you, it, 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 this energy flows to you and through you. Mm -hmm. And it's limitless. It really is limitless. Mm -hmm. What are you creating and how are you creating it and how are you and a lot of times how you're creating it is what you're the, what you're choosing to look at instead of what it is that you're what it, going through. Yeah, that's a lot, a lot of his law of attraction in your mindset in yeah. regards to attracting to yourself what you want. Yeah, you're I get it. And thank you for sharing that. That was very powerful and very potent. So, Jeff, what else would you like people to know about you? You know, what I'd love people to know about me, I'm an artist, I'm an author, I have three books on Amazon, I mean, you can look me up. Um, but really, what I want people to know is that 
you can live your true awesome life no matter what what that looks like okay now when i started getting into the idea of being an rv my mom was sick i was taking care of her she lived with me um i had just gotten out of a seven-year relationship i like to go to the bars like i was i was a club kid i'm a city i'm a small city kid right i like i like the really cool like neighborhood communities that have like downtowns and stuff like that i don't necessarily like i realized there's I, I, the big city wasn't for me i mm -hmm. lived in philadelphia i've lived in detroit i've lived in the si big cities but the smaller communities that have like downtowns and the main streets and those are really my jam and when i went i'm not a i still can't do a fire right like i'm like the least likely person to be in an rv but it going from that shift of okay this is who i am and my mom we got my mom well enough to live on her own she lives on her own now we got all these things that had to move out of the way and really get online and make it so that i can make money on the road mm -hmm. was a complete shift um and the mindset that that has to go through so really just knowing that you could do it, it you don't have to have a million dollars to run your, to live your life, to live the life that you really want. I still don't have a million dollars. I would love a million dollars. If you want to give it to me, you can go ahead and drop it. I'll give you my, I'll drop a <laughs> PayPal link for you. But, you know, it's not what's important. It's about the quality of your life and really shifting that you don't have to work 24-7. Mm -hmm. I don't care if it is your passion. You need to be your passion and then start from there. Brilliant. So Jeff, what is it exactly that you do with your clients? So really what I do is I uh, start by getting them very clear on their vision. You know, what is it that you want to do? What is the life you want to live? We start, mm -hmm. my very first thing that we start with is what does your perfect week look like? You know, not that vacation week, mm -hmm. not the week that you're thinking, oh, this is pretty, you know, yeah, seeing a, drinking my ties on the beach is wonderful for a, a month. I did it. I can tell you it's nice, but <laughs> at some point you have to start remembering that you have a, a purpose, right. And living your purpose. Mm -hmm. But then we sit down and I create all the systems for you. Me and my team will do all the tech. We take that off your plate. Nice. Like 90% of the tech we do. Um, and then we just support you. We uh, help you create your platform so that you know, your talking points, you know what you're doing. You know who it is you serve, how you serve. It's all aligned with who you are and what you believe. And then um, we support you through it. For Brilliant. Your results. So in a nutshell, you help entrepreneurs or who? Who is your ideal client? Creatives and coaches. My Creatives and coaches to use technology to their advantage? Yeah, use their technology to their advantage. Um, set themselves up so that they live their life, not live their work. Beautiful. Absolutely brilliant. So Jeff, how can people get in touch with you? The easiest way to get in touch with me is here on Facebook. Honestly, um, you can go ahead. I'm Jeff, uh, Jeff P. Atkins. Um, or go to trueawesomelife.com. I have all kinds of really great things. I have some free trainings for you uh, that can really help you out, especially if you're worried about your purpose and who you are. Um, there's this really the three things training. Do that training. It's going to really help you. Um, get super clear on those things. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm here. I'm on Instagram. I'm, I do the daily Jedi now, um, on, uh, TikTok. So you can look that up. Um, right. so we, we have one little, I take one line of our doctrine and kind of like put it into a, a usable moment for the day. So that's a lot of fun. Excellent. That sounds like, does sound like a lot of fun. So we are about to wrap up here. Uh, this is 15 minutes and I'd like to keep it to 15 minutes because that's what I promise our audience. So Jeff, is there, are there any last words that you would like to share with the audience? Terry, just thank you for being, being you, you know, oh, you're just so open you. and so amazing and having provided this platform is, you know, I know I, I've run three, three podcasts. I know what it goes, what it takes on the back end to deal with this. And the fact that you do, and you are so open and willing to allow people this space and being a, just a space that people can talk to. So thank you. 
Thank you for that. That I wasn't expecting that. That means an awful lot. Thank you. And to and thank you for being part of the Limitless Prosperity Facebook group. And we would love to have you join us at limit at you can see the address down below, attractlimitlessprosperity.com. And the goal is to work with entrepreneurs and help them harmonize the spiritual, the personal, and the practical side of business. So Shiftology Live comes back next Wednesday in the Shiftology Live group. I'm your host, Terry Wildeman, and I look forward to seeing you next time. To your success. Bye.